Who is ready for the teeniest, tiniest box apocalypse in all of box apocalypse history? Is that you? Yeah, so let me uh, zoom out because that's what people want. Uh, I got three packages, uh, two from Japan and then one from eBay. So I assume somewhere on this planet it came from. So let me take the time to, oh, let me get the knife to oops, open sesame these boxes. So let's start with the bottom one. This was shipped Sal, and if you know what that means, it means it's an item that I wasn't actually looking forward to, and I didn't want to pay full speed shipping. So it's probably not gonna be something good. It's probably some anime hentai or something. Ugh. It's probably like uh, some Naruto shippadoo stuff like that or something because it is coming from the land of Japan and oh my gosh I almost bought a second copy of this someone even commented on one of my car videos or toy hunt today more Star Wars videos so here you go freaking Star Wars package unboxing and toy unboxing let me just slit it right there at the side and you're getting a uh, quick quick look at an unboxing of a Star Wars figure it's unboxed. Let me just take him out of out of here. Let's do a quick review. This thing looks freaking awesome, I think. I don't know. Is the likeness not there? Does, I don't really care. Because I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. He looks freaking cool. Thank you all for like, comment, subscribe. All right, let's put this back here so I can review that in another wasteland or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? If you do, if you don't, who cares? Okay, more packages. So this was an SH Figyarts, I think, Ami Ami. And speaking of Ami Ami, I, I recommend you all check out a nice review that Craig Wark did, I'll link it at the end of this video, of a uh, Elsa figure. And your boy, your boy doesn't even care about Elsa, but yo. Craig sold me on that figure so well. Never seen uh, such a cool looking figure, even though I don't know the franchise and stuff like that. But uh, your boy, your boy makes bad decisions with uh, his monetary value. So I figure once I make enough YouTube rev, I'll, I'll bite the bullet, get an Elsa figure, because then I'll do like Elsa wrestling to get all the all the YouTube rev. I'll do like Elsa wrestle Spidey. How does that sound? Uh, and it'll be like a parody of all those. Kid channels. Okay, so there is uh, Kawaii Girls. Hold on. Quick art art tutorial. You guys know that I have a P.O. box that you can send me stuff to? I hope you do. Because if you send me stuff and you include a self-addressed stamped envelope too, you might get some cool stuff like this, like an autographed Tommy official picture, you know? Because I think my boy Gabe got one, who sent one years ago. So yeah, send me some packages if or letters if you want self addressed self address stamped envelopes. You know, like my my good boy Rob Pollock did. Sent me the spooky wizard drawing. Uh, you can too. You can send me swag too, and then it'll just stay on my floor perpetually. And, but let's get back to the package. That's just a shilling out to make you guys send me things because I spent like 50, 50 Robux on my uh, P.O. box. I don't know how much that is U.S. bucks, but like that's a lot of money in my eyes. But here we go. Right here. Figures, I've been getting people saying left and right, yo, Tommy, did you pre-order these? Did you get them? Yes, I pre-ordered them from Ami Ami. I took a gamble. I thought the Japanese websites would get them before the American ones, but yet again, Ringside Collectibles blew my mind, and they had it like a week or two before Ami Ami had the shipping, uh, this product is ready to be shipped notification or something. So I finally have these. These look really cool in the packaging. They're about $60 each, but here's the situation. I still have like Kalisto and stuff like that, the Kalisto Elite to review that I haven't reviewed, finished reviewing Elite 48, whatever that is. But I think Stone Cold and The Rock are a lot more important when it comes to WWE than Eric Rowan, Kalisto, and to a certain extent, Mick Foley. I'd, I'd certainly say that The Rock and Stone Cold are way more important than him. So I feel like 
It would be better if I reviewed these before, but this is up to you. Uh, because these are fig yarts and they're not something I usually do, I'm gonna put more time into it. So this weekend, what you'd be getting is say a fig yarts and then I'd probably bust out on another day like a ringside play set because those are easy to make, don't take a lot of time. Or I could do two elites. It's up to you guys, let me know what you'd rather see. These figures, one of these figures reviewed in a ringside or two elites this weekend. It's up to you. Let me know in the comments. And then this, the eBay unboxing. I think I got it from eBay. Maybe I didn't get it from eBay, but uh, this is a figure I'm looking forward to. It was a crazy good price for an old figure. And uh, uh, I'm super hyped because I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. Uh... Yo, um, so right here you can see it's upside down in the packaging. This is a freaking bootleg. Yo, so this video just changed 150 degrees. I got a bootleg in my hand. So this video is now about uh, why you shouldn't buy cheap figures online because they'll end up being a bootleg. Is it a bootleg? Packaging looks pretty good. Figma? No, it's glossy. Figmas aren't glossy, I don't think. Let's open it up. Obviously, they don't put figures upside down in their box, but uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah. This looks like a bootleg. All right. Yeah, look at that tape. Oh, this is, this is nasty stuff, people. Alrighty, so, knock off Spider-Man. Okay, so let's zoom in so you can see what I'm looking at. Right away, it looks kinda like, kinda good, but kinda like trash, right? Looks like it could fall off. I think the, the eye is a different color on this side. It looks like it's gonna fall off. Everything feels like super loose, like it could break. Um, I'm almost certain this is a knockoff because it doesn't feel, as quality as other Figmas I have. And, and now it's making sense why this figure was so cheap. Um, you might be saying, yo, Tommy, it doesn't look that bad, but I think this looks like trash. Yeah, his head just broke off, classic. This is definitely a knockoff. Um, why should you not buy knockoffs? Because they're trash. Uh, you can't tell, but this thing feels like trash. It doesn't smell terrible, which is mind-blowing because usually these bootlegs smell like they're gonna kill you. But just look at this, this is 100% a bootleg. Everything's just thrown around, but uh, I, I botched it. I messed it up big time. Probably shouldn't have bought it so cheap. Should have known that it would be a bootleg, but oops. I do find it super funny though how his eyes are crooked. It's like Derp Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm Derpy Spider-Man. Derp Man. So yes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy an Elsa figure and make like Derp Spider-Man meet $70 Elsa figure that I'd buy. <sighs> bootlegs suck. So why do bootlegs suck? If you're wondering, well, they take money away from the creators. Uh, and they flood the market with, with figures that are lower quality, so you might get it and then think like, oh, I got the actual thing, and instead you just got a trash dirt face version that's probably gonna fall off, probably gonna give me cancer or something based on the fumes of whatever plastic they created it in. It might look good right off the bat, but if you compared it to a real one, like look at this, the leg's just falling out. This is not a quality figure. This is a trash quality figure. Uh, so, so yeah, Tommy is anti-bootleg, anti-knockoff. But what about what about me saying things? What do I think of things that are uh, not licensed, but kind of knockoff? I don't know. I don't know what I think, but I asked you questions before. Uh, what do you think I should review? Think it should be Stone Cold, The Rock, or Kalisto? And Eric Rowan this weekend. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning into this box apocalypse where I got this bootleg Spider Man. Uh, I was expecting some good stuff, but whatever, guys. Okay, so yes, thank you for watching. Like, comment, don't subscribe. Please don't subscribe. I'm trying to make 
if I get, okay, here's the deal. If you guys can get me to 100,000 subscribers by the end of, let's say, April, I will do a face reveal. How does that sound? If So yes, end of April, if I'm at 100,000 subscribers, you will 100% get a face reveal of my dad. Thank you.